Yeah. Can I ask another question? Sure. You've helped me realise that on my visits to the Monash University, I had some really high experiences, sometimes they last for weeks. And I started feeling like when you're in a state of joy for three weeks, you start feeling like it's permanent. Yes. And you've helped me realise that that wasn't necessarily the love I developed. So that helped me become more honest yeah. and real. Yeah. Because then I would drop down into some dark states. Yeah. I've got people that I can talk to sometimes who, one I'm thinking of in particular, who is lives in a beautiful state. And because he lives in a beautiful state, he doesn't feel he has to develop a relationship with God. Because he already feels he's at one with God. Yeah. And I... I can look back and see how I was heading in that direction. Yes. Yep. And I can see how it's you can see how delusional. You can almost, yeah, delude yourself into a state. Yes. And this is where every six fear spirit is actually. They're in a self deluded state of being God. So yeah. they, they feel so much love within themselves and so much joy within themselves that now they believe they are God themselves. Or 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 they call themselves a fragment of God, some of them, mm. but a lot of them just call themselves God. And you can get into that state, and it's a totally self-delusional state. It's not real. In a sense, that's like the ultimate curse, isn't it? Because it, it is the longer the, you're there, the harder it is to get out of it. Yeah, I, in the first century, I called it the greatest sin. The greatest sin is the sin against the Holy Spirit. The sin against the Holy Spirit is when you decide to not receive divine love that's being offered to you because you believe you're already there, that come to you, and, and you'll be able to express your natural love. The main difference though between love in the sixth fear state or on the natural love path and love in the divine state is that love in the sixth fear state is very principled based. Yes. Do you know what I mean by that? Yeah. Yeah. What I mean by that is that if, if you see a principle of truth, you act upon it whether you feel the emotion in your heart or not. Do you follow me? Mm -hmm. So let's say, um, it, let's say Let's say somebody was smacking their child in our audience. Now, all of you will have different emotions about that, but the pr if intellectually you would know the principle that the child is just reflecting the emotions of its parents in the audience in the first place. So therefore, how can you punish a child for reflecting something that the parents are actually denying within themselves, right? So you, you would say that you, would, you could see here, you could see, that oh, them smacking him might not be such a good idea. It's quite a, a damaging thing to do, in fact, to the child. But you could then go up to the person and say, and say to them, oh, do you think you should be doing that or whatever? All just coming from your intellect, mm. couldn't you? Mm -hmm. Now you're acting in love, aren't you? Mm. Because you're acting based on the principle. Mm. And, the, and the principle in this case is what the Greeks used to call agape love, which is love based on principle. So in other words, I follow principles and that's what causes me to love. Now, on the divine love path, it's totally different to that. You will watch that event and you'll feel cut to the heart about what's happening to the child. You'll feel an emotion inside of yourself, right? And it won't be just based on the principle anymore. It'll come from your heart that's been opened in love. Do you follow me? Mm -hmm. There's a big difference between those two states. One is very principled love. The other is a love that generates from the emotional state, <clears throat> from the heart, right? And what happens on the divine love path is all of the love you express comes from your heart. It comes from your heart and is expressed. And in its expression, it is based around some of the principles on the natural love path, but it's a totally different feeling within the person. It's driven by the feeling, not by the thought of the principle. So when I talk to six fear spirits now, I feel them to be very harsh at times, very uncompromising because they're very principled and they're, they're, they're not connecting at the heart level. Do you know what I mean? They're connecting at the mind level but not the heart level. They wouldn't even know how to do that though. Well, they don't know how to do it. That's part of the problem. And, and the, the issue is when you connect at the mind level, you do act based on principles that you've learned but you don't act from the heart. All right, and so um, what I find talking to many six fear spirits, like I'll say to them, well, why did you let that person believe you were somebody else? Like quite often, a six fear spirit will connect to a person on earth, like a medium, and then let the person on earth believe they were somebody else. In the uh, oneness movement, that happens a bit with letting them believe they're God. Mm. You know, they, the spirit believes he's God, mm. 
And so he connects with a person. So let's say I'm the spirit and I believe I'm God. I'm a six-fear spirit. I believe I'm God. And and Peter's longing for divine love, for, for, for God's love, or what he thinks is God's love. And he thinks it's to do with this. And so I come along and I give him my love and I call it God's love. Right? Now, I haven't broken any principles inside of myself, have I? But I have broken a principle of truth. Right? Unbeknown to myself. Right? And the principle of truth is, God can only give God's love. But they personally, don't know that. And God is an entity. But I don't know that. I might not know that. Or I might know God is an entity, but I'm thinking that I'm acting on God's behalf. Right. Or I might know God's an entity and, I th and, I'm, and, I, and I'm actually acting on God's behalf. But I know that inside of you, you think it's something different than what I'm doing. Mm. Now, would a person who really loves you from the heart want that for you? No. They wouldn't, would they? No. They'd want you to understand the truth of what's happening. Then we're fine. Then the transaction's fine. You follow me? Mm. And so a lot of times what happens with six fear spirit transactions or spirit transactions on the natural love path is they withhold truth. Right, until they think you're ready to hear it. And by the way, when you decide to withhold truth from somebody until you think they're ready to hear it, how many times have you done that in a day? Right? Then you are actually acting in the same manner as these spirits are acting. Can you see how it develops really easily, that kind of attitude? But that is a natural love attitude. A divine love attitude is, how can I let you believe in untruth? Without and me be a party to it. I, I would feel cut to the heart about that, wouldn't I? At the divine love level, and, and you know, at, 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 a, at a heartfelt emotional level, I would feel cut to the heart that I've been a part of you believing an untruth. And so, if I'm actually connecting emotionally with God, and I've got God's love throwing through me, I would not even allow that circumstance to develop. I'd do everything I possibly could to tell the person something different. I'd maintain the connection, but try to help the person come to truth. 